Hey guys, Omerko here, self-taught web developer, and in this video I will show you how to set up a proper form filled with Angular material, as there is a component to do that as well. On my screen right here you can already see these input fields and also this text area here. So let's just inspect this text area, and here on the right side you can see that this text area is indeed math form field element, so there is proper component for form fields as well. So in this tutorial you will learn how to set up that form field component. Now did you know that only around 2% of you who are watching my videos are actually subscribed to my YouTube channel? Please make sure to subscribe to my channel as I am posting new content weekly. Now into this video. First of all, let's generate our component as we usually do that in this series. So in my terminal I will use command ng gc for generate component and I will generate components slash form field. Once component is generated we can go into our app.component.html file and use that component here. First of all I will hide this component from the last video, so if you wish to watch this expansion panel video you will have a link down in the description of this one. So after this one I will first put the comment of form field and then I will use my component that we just generated which is app form field and after this form field component I will put ending comment of end of form field and as you already know we usually import a proper module for all of these angular material components but for this one we won't need to do that so open up your app.module.ts file and in our app module.ts file we can first of all move this form field component that we generated here to a top and you will find this component mad form field well this module mad form field already imported here if you check also imports array there it is in imports array as well we already imported this module in our autocomplete video, so if you wish to check that video you will have a link down in the description of this video as well. So as we have already this module we can open up our form field HTML file component and inside first of all I will create the div with the style attribute and this style attribute will have a width set to 700 pixels, then margin will be 50 pixels and auto and also I will set text align to be center here. To create now our first form field, first of all I will create another div to wrap my, well, form field, and inside of this div I will use math form field element, and to this element we can also, well, we also have an option to pass appearance, and we can set this for example to fill, this appearance will just style our form field a bit differently. Now inside of this form field I will first of all create the math label element and this math label will hold the text of first name and also I will create the input field down below and this input field next to this type of text can also hold the attribute of math input. Well math input should be passed like this. This math input math label math form field all of this will just give us option to use material UI. Also let's grab here the entire div and copy this down below and here we will say last name and input will be type of text with math input attribute as well. We can also grab it once again and paste it down below but this time we won't use input field. So instead of this input field I will use text area and this text area won't hold any of these attributes but it will hold math input attribute. And from there we can test this out by opening our local host. We can already see that all elements on my screen will hold this material UI design. Well also it will hold the animations and structure as well. And next to that all of those are proper form fields, which means that those are easier to bind with some data, also those will have more options for customization, validation, and also their own specific events with JavaScript events as well. Next to that we will have much more options to use with these form fields. But this will be it, if you have any questions related to this component and this video, just ask those down below, I will surely answer you.
Also, did you know that only around 2% of you who are watching my videos are actually subscribed to my YouTube channel? If you are not subscribed, make sure to do that as I'm posting new tutorials every week. But this will be all for this video. If you liked it, please click like and subscribe as I'm posting a new content weekly. Thank you once again and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.